Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the console couch with me, ya boy, Adrian. <laughs> and uh, today we're playing another episode of uh, Earth Defense Force 2017. Great game. Uh, great game. We're about to fight some giant robots. We will fight them on the beaches. And on the beaches. And on the beaches. And the beaches. <laughs> so there's uh, so a good chunk of these uh, little ships here and some uh, some wacky robot guys. Some wacky waving inflatable arm flailing wacky robots. That robot has a penis. Or is it an extended vagina? It may very well be an extended vagina, but we'll have to find out eventually. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the first levels where you get access to some, uh, some weapons that are... How do I... Uh, that's, that's not it at all. Let me in. Let me in. What? Oh, friggin' frig. I did. Alright. So this is one of the first levels where you get access to a, you know, form of weaponry that's not just like a dude on the ground, uh, being a dude on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot these guys. <laughs> can I collect stuff? I don't remember. I can collect stuff. Okay. Oh man, this fire is so slowly. Does it have an alternate fire? I guess not. But this does one-shot these tank dudes, and by tank dudes, I mean these, uh, robot guys. And it also does technically extend my health a little bit, so it, it would probably be remotely useful in the case of uh, harder difficulty, I guess? It'd be nice if I didn't just fire over. I'm gonna shoot that robot right in the penis. Get out of my way, dude. I guess it's a good way to move your... Okay, this is not working out. All right, we're gonna switch over to this sniper rifle that's gonna just shoot bullets over at his face. And he is using a machine gun, so show, so shall we. And he's going to dance like his mama shook him as a baby. Um, I don't even know what that means. He's, he's gonna dance until he's dead. Uh, was, was that a popular song recently? I don't remember. Boy, it's difficult to see what is going on with all those explosions. Oh, man. Be careful if you've got, uh, epilepsy. This, this is... This is some stuff right here. Woo! Just gonna keep shooting this like that. And then periodically we're gonna go, wow! And then that's gotta reload, so... Man, he's... he's dancing. He is... <laughs> Alright, can I swim low enough to grab that weapon upgrade? No. Okay. Well, we're gonna go back to shore, and we're gonna roll around a bit and grab that other weapon upgrade, and probably a little bit of health. We may as well reload our sniper rifle, and shoot it off into the distance, because it can do that. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that it was me who killed that other guy that was in the background there. I am taking some damage. I am like, alrighty then. Those machine guns are putting up in some work, that's for sure. He... <laughs> okay, future Adrian, can you, can you cut now to a clip of this guy dancing and some music? Yeah, wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. I, I don't even need to talk over that. It's just gonna be wonderful. This should be a pretty quick level. Probably uh, one of the one of the levels that I could uh dance, sir. Dance. You just you love dancing, don't you? You just love dancing, don't you? Oh yeah, you love dancing. You love Ted dancing. I am taking some damage. But then again, I mean, look at the size of this dude's guns, and uh, <laughs> I am standing like in front of the barrel of them. So of course, of course, this damage makes sense. I also feel like those robots would probably just ignore- oh, there was a, uh, helicopter over there that we're gonna explore next- re next game? Next whatever? Next mission? 
Actually, thinking about it, uh, he is having a. Yo, G, what you do? <laughs> He's having a stroke. All right, cool. Uh, thinking about it, it probably would have been a good idea to bring a, a missile launcher along uh, to fight these dudes. Because the missile launchers, like, these guys are pretty slow moving and idiotic. So, a missile launcher probably would have done a good chunk of damage to it just by being able to instantly home in. Uh, but then again, we don't have a uh, missile launcher just yet that has... This dude is just friggin' all over the place. We don't have a missile launcher that has a good capacity yet. So once that happens, maybe we'll think about switching to maybe that. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm just going to continue using this mostly because ooh that dude took some damage mostly mostly because this combination is remotely helpful versus the robots uh, maybe back when, when we're back to ants uh, I'll go back to oh oh he's gonna step on me I'll go back to having a, a rocket launcher of some form because being able to clear buildings is very very helpful against the ants because they like to crawl all over the buildings and it's not always fun to, to shoot at them uh, being able to create like a concentrated field of holy crap of fire uh, is is very helpful um, versus the ants. So when they're in that like plane of just being a giant horde, it's really good. But uh, against these robots, it's kind of nice to have these buildings to hide behind when they're doing their stupidity of uh, a million bullets a second uh, all all over your face. You know they're just spraying their hot uh, goopy lasers and uh, hot lead, space lead, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know what, what kind of metals these aliens use. Uh, I'm assuming that they're tough metals because uh, the Air Force seems to have issues hitting the slow-moving uh, spaceships, <laughs> which aren't exactly the best at shooting stuff. I guess in, in most sort of video game universes, you have to assume that uh, incompetence is rampant <laughs> in all aspects of society and uh, alienness. Because, I mean, I don't understand how anything ever gets done in those universes. It's like, it's like assuming... That was a... Thank you, robot. Um, it's like assuming that, you know, uh, the uh, star, star Troopers... Space Trooper... Oh my god, my brain is having a, a moment where I can't remember... Oh, Stormtroopers. Wow, I couldn't remember what a Stormtrooper was called. Okay, somebody take away my nerd card. Like... Jesus. <laughs> my brain went on like... I don't know what. Just was not having any of whatever I was doing. But then again, you know... That's, uh, that's what brains do sometimes. They forget what they're doing, especially when they're trying to concentrate on shooting up a robot anus. Uh, <laughs> do you think that that's a fetish? Robo analingus? I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's a fetish. It's, it's gotta exist on the internet somewhere. Because people are weird and scary, and I'm shooting robots. My name is Adrian, and I have to say goodnight, everybody. No. I'm not done yet. I gotta shoot this robot in his penis. Slash extended vagina. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's gotta be something. Why did they design it like that? What, what was the, the need for that? I don't even understand. You know what's a terrifying robot? The ones from... Uh, what was that movie? Uh, it was like... It, it changed its name so many times. It was uh, based on a manga. Uh, Live Die Repeat, I, I believe, was one of its names. And then, uh, what did they, what did they change the name to? Was It wasn't The Day After Tomorrow, or Tomorrow Never Dies, or Tomorrow Never Comes. Ah, I can't remember what it's called. Tom Cruise, decent movie, neat concept. I'm flying through the air. My name is Adrian, and I'm gonna, what the, okay. <laughs> My name is Adrian, and I should have explosives for these guys, because that is you know, them walking together, shielding each other, in the hopes that I'm not gonna have enough bullets to kill them both? I, I don't even... 
he running away? He's still alive. Why is he still alive? Are all my teammates dead? I'm pretty sure they are. I'm gonna snipe you in the face. It's a really good thing that I did not have uh, the shaky cam thing on because you guys, okay, you guys should see what the frick happens when the shake is still on uh, in, in moments where uh, those robots are shooting at you. You can't see anything. And when, when they're exploding, you can see even less. I'm the only lone survivor with my swivelly hips. Look, look at this. This dude's just not connected at all between his back and his hips. Anyway, so that's, that's going to be it for the day. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful evening. We just unlocked a bound gun, which is really good. A good night. Good day. Good morning. Goodbye.